good morning friends so now this is the second lecture that we are on now so in last lecture we have discussed about the factorization now we want to start exercise 14.2 so before i start 14.2 we have to discuss some identities that already we have discussed in chapter number 9 so in chapter number 9 we have discussed three identities that is first second and three three identities we have discussed that is a plus b whole to square a square plus 2ab plus b square a minus b whole to square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square and third a plus b a minus b is equal to a square minus b square again we have to use these three identities in factorization in factorization we have to use these three identities so how we can get answer again already we have discussed that a plus b whole to square how we can remember a square at here last b square at here and from 2 plus sign these two and a into b that is a identity that is a plus b whole to square same identity a minus b whole to square again a a square again b b square from here minus sign 2 into a into b and last term is plus b and third identity is that is a plus b a minus b now two brackets are there one is plus another is minus one is plus another is minus that is a plus b a minus b that is a square minus b square so three identities we have to remember and by using these three identity we have to do the factorization topic is factorization by using identities so there are three identities that already we have discussed in chapter number 9 a plus b whole to square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square a minus b whole to square a square minus 2ab plus b square and third a plus b a minus b is equal to a square minus b square so three identities we have to use this now for So, so let me do some. So first of all, there is a one example that we have to see. Factorize x square plus eight x plus sixteen. So three identities already we have. Out of it, here it is. Positive is there. So we have to use this. Again, a square plus two ab plus B square. So we are using the identity which way now? Plus B square. Now which way I have to use this? The answer is a plus b whole to square. So if question is in form of x square plus eight x plus sixteen, how we can do it this by using this? Identities that is a square plus two ab plus b square. Now, if you will see properly, here question is x square plus eight x plus sixteen. So first step is what x whole to square. Here sixteen that is a square of Four. So I have to write four whole to square. Now, identity is what? Yeah. If I will write plus, then two ab. So plus two into what is a? That is a. So two x. What is b? Again, here it is. So I have to write four. 
Now we will see that x plus 4 whole to square. Clear everyone? Which way I am doing this? x square plus 8x plus 16 is our question. Now, which way we are doing? We are doing a square plus 2ab plus b square. So, here a square means x square, b means 4 square because it is a square of 16 and formula is 2 into a into b that is 2 into x into 4. So, x plus 4 whole to square. So, these are the example related with the plus. Now, we go for minus identities. So, here the question is related with the minus example. We are doing example number 4 y square minus 12 by plus 9. Now, if you will see that we, which way we have to do, that is important. So, 4, 4 is a square of 2. So, we have to write 2y here. Again, 2y whole to square here. 3 whole to square last term square. 2y square. And in bracket, what is 12? So, I have to write 2ab. Formula is equal to 2ab. Middle term. First term, middle term and last term. So, in first term, we can take 2y whole to square. In last term, we can take 3 whole to square. And middle term, what we have to take? 2 into a into b. That is 2y minus 3 whole to square. So, from here I have to take 2, from here I have to take 3 and 2y minus 3 whole to square. So, this is the second identity example. Now, we go for third identity that is a plus b here. 49p square. So, again I am writing a square minus b square that is a plus b a minus b now if i want to write it a plus b so here i have to write 7 p whole to square minus 36 means 6 whole to square so 7 p minus 6 and 7p plus 6. So, it is the easiest for black noting to me third identity. That is one time is plus, another time is minus. I think three identities already we have discussed and with three examples. So, first of all write the identities 5-5 five, five time. Write this example in your rough when the lecture is going on and then you have to upload in application. Now, we go for exercise. Let me see that the exercise here related with the exercise. We have to go for so exercise 14.2. In 14.2, we are doing the exercise 14.2 question number 1. So, in question number 1, if you will see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 sums are there. Here question number example factorize again. Here again factorize. So by using the identities. So first of all we have to write the identities at here anyhow. So we can remember it. One identity is a plus b whole to square. That is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Third identity a minus b whole to second identity a minus b whole to square a square minus 2ab plus b square and a square minus b square that is a plus b a minus b. So three identities if you use it we can solve all the sum easily. So let me go for one sum that is first sum. 
So again, I'm writing it here. A square plus eight a plus sixteen. So already we know that a is a square of a. Sixteen is a square of four. So I have to write a equal to square plus two into a into four into plus four square. Now from here I have to take a. From here I have to take four, and from middle I have to take plus, and then write whole square. So two step we can get answer of it. Within two step we can get answer. I hope that you have understand this right now. So it is easy. Now we go for the next sum. So can I rub or not down? So p square minus ten p plus twenty five. Now try to solve. Now second sum. P square, P square minus ten P plus twenty five. Who give me answer of it? It is easy. Anyone? What we have to write? P equal to square five equal to square two into. P into five plus five, so P minus five whole to square. It's easy. If you will see it properly, mostly old sums are easy. You have to write whatever I am writing in a board. One more sum. Now twenty five m square plus thirty m plus nine. I think I have to write it here. Twenty-five m square plus thirty m plus nine. So five m whole two square. Here three whole two square plus two into five m and three. Now we are five m plus. Three whole two square. I think it is also easier. Mostly, someone, some student can do it easily, and some have to see from the board. But you have to write all the sum that whatever I am describing in a smart board. That you have to write. So two sums, three sums I have completed. That is first, second, and third. Now write second. That is second. That is third. Write it now. I hope you have written it. So now I rub this and go more sum. Now question number four. Again forty nine y square. Question is. Forty-nine y square plus eighty-four y z plus thirty-six z square. Now forty-nine is a square of nine. Thirty-six is a square of six. So seven y. One two square plus six z. One two square plus two into seven y into six z. Now from here seven y. From here six z. From here, plus whole two square. So seven y plus six z. That is our answer. So I think we can write answer here also.
that is 7 by plus 6 and over to square. Why I am writing that? Now we have to do the fifth sum that is 4. Now we have to do the fifth sum. 4x square minus 8x plus 4. Now 4 I have to make common x square minus 2x plus 1 I have to write first. Here it is a square again it is a square but if I want to make common 4 because it is a multiple of 4. 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8 and 4 1s are 4. Why I have to make common? Now we will see all are perfect square first term and last term. So we can directly write answer of it that is x minus 1 whole to square and here I have to write 4. So 4x minus 1 whole to square. So more two sums I have written it. Now you have to write this. Then we go for 6, 7, 10, 8. I hope you have written it. Then those who have written it, then try to know the 6 sum. So 121, those who have already completed it, they know that 121 is a square of 11. 16 is a square of 4. We have to multiply it. Then we can get answer. So that is 6 sum. 121 b square minus 88 bc plus 16 c square. Now 121 is a 11. So I have to write 11 b whole to square. 16 is a square of 4. So I have to write that plus 4 c whole to square. Now between what I have to write? So negative sign that is middle term sign. Now formula 2. In bracket what I have to write? That is 11 b and 4 c. Now 11 b whole to square minus 4 c. 11 b minus 4 c whole to square that is a answer. Now here some hints is given. First write this sum. Try to solve 8 sum. By using this we can solve the 8 sum here. 8 the power 4 plus 2a square b square plus b the power 4. So a square whole to square here b square whole to square and in bracket 2 into a square into b square. So here I take a square plus b square whole to square. So when 4 power is there inside bracket I have to write a the power 2 b the power 2. Write it now this sum. One twenty one b square. So sorry, a the power four plus two a square b square plus b the power four. So when power four is there, we have to write a square and bracket outside we have to write two b square bracket outside again write two plus two a square b square. So that is it. Now I hope that seven sum that we have to do. 7th sum. Now in 7th sum, L plus M, L plus M whole to square minus 4L M. Means is expanding. So if I will expand it L square plus 2L M plus M square minus 4L M. Now L square minus 2L M plus M square. Now it's a perfect square. So we can directly download. Why I am doing like this? Here we have to simplify this. 
minus plus minus. So I have to write minus. Now L minus M whole to square. So that is my answer. I think uh, exercise question number one factorize the following expression. That is whole eight sum I have completed. You have to write this sum in your rough book also and start doing of now fair book because you can also write it in fair. I hope you have written it. Now we go for next exercise that is sorry question number 2. Now factorization for question number 2. So first of all the which identity I am using that I have to write. That is a square minus b square. That is a plus b and a minus b. A plus b, a minus b. So if you will see 4p square minus 9q square. Question is 4p square minus 9q square. Again we have to find out 4 that is 2p whole to square and 3q whole to square. That is 2p minus 3q and 2p plus 3q. That is my answer. Why? Because we have to make a factor of difference of square. That is 2p minus 3q, 2p plus 3q. So, same thing, same way we have to do all the question number 2, all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 exam questions are there. But one is easy, second is, I think one is compared with third again. If you will see now third, 49x square minus 36. Again, 7x whole to square minus 6 whole to square. One time plus, another time is minus 7x plus 6 and 7x minus 6. So it is easy. But when we are doing when we are doing it is easy. So I think you can write question number 1 and 3rd. Write it now question 1 and 3rd. And try to solve 2nd and 4th yourself. Try to solve 2nd and 4th yourself. I think you can easily. I think you have written it so I can drop now. Now one more sum. That is we have to go now. Question number 2. So here, second sum I am doing, 63 a square minus 112b square. Now if you will see 63 is not a perfect square, 112 is also not a perfect square. So that is a, how we can know that, so I can see that if I will make 7 outside, then I have to write here. If I will divide it 7 1 za, 7 4 7 6 za. So now these are perfect square. So now I can write 3a whole to square minus 4b whole to square. It write 7. So 7 3a minus 4b and 3a plus 4b. So 7 bracket inside 3a minus 4b. 3a plus 4b. Now, same type of sum is 4. That is 16x the power 5 minus 144x the power 3. Now, if I will make common outside x the power 3 with, with 16, then in bracket I have to write x the power 2 minus 9. 16 9 is 144 and x to the power 5 is the power 3. 
So least power I have to make common outside. Now x square minus so x minus three and x plus three and here sixteen x the power three. So that way we can complete question number one, two, three and four. To still these sums that we have not discussed now, but you have to complete these two sums also. So write these two sum, then we go for fifth and sixth. Afterward, we can factorize this type of sum. So I hope that you have written it. Then we can go one more sum that is fifth and sixth. Now we discuss for fifth sum. That is L plus M all to square L minus M all to square. If I will take as A, so A square minus B square that already we discussed in last lecture. A plus B, A minus B. Now put value of A. That is L plus M. Put value of B. That is L minus M. So if you will see that cut, then do it. Now second bracket a minus b, so a means l plus m, b means minus l plus m. So again l l cut, then two m. So two into two that is four l m. I think in ninth fourteen point one, sorry in ninth chapter nine point six nine point five same type of sums are there. So when we simplify on that time, when whole to square is there. We have to write one time plus, another time minus. Now one more sum still left. That is nine x square y square minus sixteen. Nine x square y square minus sixteen. So three x y whole to square minus four whole to square. So three x y minus four and three x y plus four. That way I have to. Right. So mostly, if you will see properly, question one and two still only two sum is left. Mostly all others we have discussed with identity. Now write these two sum. So I hope that you have written it. Now what is the today's discussion that we have to? Revise again. What is the today's discussion? That we have you have started the exercise. We have started the exercise. Fourteen point two. In fourteen point two, we have completed question number one and question number two. Only two sum is left. That we have that you have to do and you have to write the identities with example that we have discussed. So examples that we have discussed, that is example number. We have used these three identities. So you have to write these three identities. And example number, example number five, example number five, six, and four. Four. You have to write four. You have to write five. You have to write six. Three examples you have to write. Identities you have to write this five five times in your homework book and you have to update uh, upload in a application and fourteen point one fourteen point one you have to complete in again rough book and then convert into a fair book question number one and two I hope you have understand properly now there is uh, some problem related with the uh, applications you can. Call or WhatsApp after twelve o'clock so we can concentrate on your application. And according to the school program plan, there are three tests in one week. That is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So today you have a, I think Friday, Wednesday, and Friday you have a test. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday you have to give the test and upload in your application. I hope you have stay. Safe at home. Please use the precautions related to the COVID-19. That is, sanitize your hands. 
wear the mask that way we can concentrate in next lecture what we have to do in next lecture we have to concentrate this type of sums in next lecture we have to discuss example 7 and example 8 in next lecture and then the fourth identity or fourth factorization form that is x plus a x plus b that we have to take on in a next lecture so i think it is sufficient and whatever I have discussed here, please go through the whatever we are using it here. If you go through these two sums, so we can consider it. So concentrate also on example 7 and 8 in next lecture or reading. So we can more concentrate or understand it properly.